This is Thoughts with C, J, and L. A podcast by three Asian American people with thoughts on being Asian American and people. In this episode, we're talking about our concluding thoughts on season two. Hey everyone, so this is the final episode of season two of Thoughts with CJ and L. Thank you so much for listening to us over these past few episodes and for enjoying our content. (laughs) Uh, We are going to have some fun questions to celebrate the end of season two, so stay tuned for those fun questions. We will be back for season three. It is a matter of if, not when. No, it's a matter of when, not if. <laughs> we'll be back. It, it'll happen at some point. So let us know what you want to hear for season three. In the meantime, please enjoy our reflections. All right, so the fun questions. What was your favorite episode from season two? I feel like we should count down and we'll all say it at the same time <laughs> because I feel like I know what it is. <laughs> okay. I need, a double, I need to make sure we, I don't think we're going to have the same one. You don't think so? Okay, well, I'm we still can... interested to see what everyone has. Okay, I don't have an, or maybe I do have an obvious favorite. Hmm. Yeah, I like all of them, though. They're all so good, <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, I have mine. I'm ready. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Exist in <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I said physical health, and I can explain, oh. but I want to hear what, did you guys both say existence? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll explain first. I think I liked physical health a lot because it was cool. I feel like I learned the most about you two when we filmed that one. As a group, I feel like we talk a lot about mental health and existential spiraling. Not a lot, but like sort of a lot, <laughs> but physical health. We don't intentionally talk about it in the way that we did during that episode very frequently. So I feel like I learned a lot about you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a very well-rounded episode because we literally broke down how we got started and where we are now, mm-hmm. um, which we didn't really do for any of the other episodes. The other episodes were more free-flowing. That one was really structured, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we learned a lot about podcast etiquette this season. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and structure. But my for me, that podcast, I mean, that's just what I'm studying. So I'm always talking about it and thinking about it. It just kind of felt like normal. But I guess for me, it's different because I think that people should always or are always thinking that way, but they're not. They're not always thinking about their physical health and what it means to take care of yourself in that way. So I guess it was a good way for me to like express how I feel about it and share the knowledge. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate that you liked it because you learned about us. (laughs) Like, (laughs) Wait, because I see you guys as people who prioritize physical health more than the average person for sure. Yeah, I guess it makes sense because we're both walking towards a career that has a lot to do with physical health and exercise and physical well-being. So I guess that makes sense. But I guess in terms of like peers, people our age, mm-hmm. we probably know more than the average Joe. Then again, you know, I'm probably going to listen to that podcast three years from now and be like, she knew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hope, you should go next. Why do you like existence? Listen, I, every day, <laughs> there's just constant thoughts, you know, and You know, when you are working and then suddenly you just realize that you're existing. Yeah, when you come full stop. (laughs) Yeah. You start questioning. So I have those moments a lot. And so that's why existence was good for me because it made me feel less crazy for thinking the things. Yeah. I feel like that episode, (laughs) maybe it's because Kat started us off about talking about water, but it took a completely different turn than I expected it to be. I don't know, I thought that that part was very entertaining. <laughs> I've never thought about existence from that perspective before. <laughs> yeah, I guess in the reverse, I learned a lot about Kat in that podcast. 
You know, I don't know. I was just really questioning the simulation. <laughs> but I enjoyed talking about existence with you guys. Even though we had some chaotic interjections, it's a fun conversation to listen to. Mm-hmm. So, Jam, why did you like it? It's kind of similar to Loho. I feel like I, I've been thinking about it a lot, especially through college. I thought about existence a lot. And I don't think it's a topic that a lot of people want to talk about because mm. it's a very heavy topic. And I feel like you need to be in a certain mood and have a certain energy to seriously talk about it I feel like it was a very honest episode even though like there was a lot of things that we could have talked about but it was kind of like a half fun half lighthearted, but also half like serious honest conversation which I enjoyed well yeah I agree I think we did a a good job of not being too dark but also not being too I feel like we set the tone really well in that episode Let us know if you agree. (laughs) For the episodes, a close second for me would be mental health. I feel Mm. like I really like that episode too. Because we all met in the school environment and we were all under that kind of pressure. And like, I think a lot of people also have the same kind of emotions and pressures from what we talked about. I like that episode though. Because I think mental health, a lot of times it can just jump straight into like, the really dark stuff like depression Mm -hmm. and like anxiety but burnout is also part of mental health but it's like not as dark or heavy yeah but it's just as real and important to like acknowledge Mm -hmm. I think burnout was like a really good angle to go for because like you said it was it is something that's really relatable but we do kind of just try to shrug it off even though it's it's tough I also from that episode really like the uh toast analogy (laughs) <laughs> I think I was just hungry <laughs> it was very um a very good scale mm. um I was gonna say though I really liked our self-expression episode because so context I was driving a long distance but I was listening to I guess season one stuff sort of but also just the newer stuff that we released the season and It was actually really interesting to see some of the characteristics or like personality traits we talked about in self-expression reflected throughout our episodes. Because like in the season two teaser, when we were talking about our perfect days, Jam was like, I want my day to be consistent. And I was like, consistency, she said that in (laughs) (laughs) self-expression. So I don't know. I was like, it's all coming together. (laughs) Plan that. (laughs) Full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is another way that we express ourselves, though. The answers that we said in, in questions. Mm-hmm. We only had like six episodes and you guys already listed off four of them as your favorite. <laughs> it's kind of fun because we didn't really get to say much about the episodes because we like pre-record them. Mm-hmm. Fun fact for our viewers. Mm-hmm. I mean, our listeners. <laughs> All right, do you guys want to do TLDRs? No. (laughs) Season two TLDRs. TLDR, we love the season. (laughs) TLDR, sometimes planning actually does work out. Scratch whatever I said, because we planned for the season and I think it turned out phenomenally. (laughs) TLDR, share this with your friends. Because I thought that it's share worthy. <laughs> TLDR, happy one year anniversary to Thoughts with <laughs> CJ and L. Because it's been one year since we started these Zoom meetings. <laughs> Does it really? Because everything shut down in March and it's February mm-hmm. right now. So we're coming up yeah. on our one year anniversary. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> It is both a happy and a sad, okay. Happy because friends, sad because pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for listening to season two of Thoughts with CJ and L. And we hope to catch you in the next season. Oh yeah. (laughs) Season three, baby. Woo. There might be some fun surprises for season three. So y'all better. (laughs) Y'all better buckle up. (laughs) 
Also, let us know what you want to hear because we can always use more ideas. Yeah. Yeah, just text us because I know, <laughs> know all of you. Yeah. Right. Or if you want the real <laughs> celebrity experience, you can DM us. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Bye, Jane. Bye, Jane. See you season three. <laughs>